Well, <clears throat> I wanted to start by checking the oil pressure in this car before I start tearing it apart. So what I've done is I've taken this $25 mechanical oil pressure gauge and um, I've used it in several cars before and the problem is is that on the end of the fitting right here inside there is a sleeve and these sleeves are one time use only and that's what seals the line around the plumbing so that needs to be replaced so that was one of the first things I did this morning <clears throat> was chase down some more of those sleeves um, I've also pulled out some tools dielectric grease um, Teflon tape and uh, some other helpful tools uh, these wire strippers right here come in really handy especially on smaller wires and if you're not used to stripping wires of course a good set of dikes do the same thing also I've got my ratchet set out when I get underneath the car I really don't want to have to chase down any other tools and another helpful hint is um, if you're doing a big job even on small jobs take lots of pictures and um, as I've done here you don't want to lose the nuts and bolts just go ahead and put them in a bag label it put a number on it and then what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll make a number and then I'll just take notes take as many notes as you want describe what you did how you took them off anything you think you may need to know in the future and just make yourself notes and just go down the line one two three four bag them up and then if there's connections or something like that take the tape and uh, I know this sounds silly but go ahead and mark everything up where you want it and uh, that way you when you get back to it hell it might be a week two weeks three weeks a month before you finish a project so always a good idea to take lots of pictures and uh, document everything so you know where everything goes back. I've already pulled the battery. It's sitting here on the charger and we're going to have to put it back here in a second but what I want to do now is I want to pull the um, I've already pulled the dust cover off so this goes on the driver's side these bolts here mount to the bottom of the frame there's another one up here in front and then there's clips in the bottoms and I think there's one that goes in here as well so these clips that I'm talking about are these push-in clips <clears throat> and they've got a hole down the middle and they flare out as these center screws are wound down inside them um, you can try to save them but the best thing to do is just uh, drill them out what I do is I take a drill and I get into the top of it and once it catches it usually just screws right out and you can buy replacements at the auto parts store these are the three bolts that came out so here again just take pictures if you're not sure where it goes what um, just document what you took out of the car so we're going to take this gauge and put it in the car uh, let me go ahead and put this new nut inside this fixture so uh, I'm going to pause for a moment while I get this done and uh, now here's a picture of the old bushing you see how it's been flared out and then here's the new bushing it doesn't exactly look like the original one but we're going to put it in here as soon as we get the main fitting put on so um, go ahead and leave these undone screw this into the block first and we'll be using these two tools right here and I believe it'll be a smaller one for this one so we'll take the 3 8 with us and then we'll put the gauge in after we get the adapter put in. So I've already taken the front wheel off the car and as I told you the shroud's been taken off. So let's see if I can get some light here on the subject. And to my surprise after taking off the dust cover, see the two bolt holes in there in the frame, um, I found a 3SX aluminum pulley on this car. So someone has been here before and if you look on the top right hand side of this frame there's the oil sending unit so we're going to unscrew that and then where, where that adapter is we're going to um, screw in the new adapter so let me go ahead and do that pause it again and uh, get this off and put the new adapter in and then I'll pick it up from there <laughs> 